And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I am your host, Chris Shanfell, and I am now joined by Adam State Grizzlies wide receiver, Harry Ajay. Thanks for joining the show, Harry. How's it going? Fine, thank you. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. Now, Now, usually I, when I do my interviews, I talk about the athlete's career, then I get to personal questions to get to know them. This interview is going to be a little different. I'm going to ask you these personal questions first, and then we'll talk a little bit about your football career. Does that sound good? Yes, sir. All right, Harry, what is your favorite TV show and movie? My favorite movie? Uh, dang, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm proud to say uh, The Lion King. All right, favorite TV show? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's either something on the NFL Network or on occasion I watch The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Harry, what's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Mm-hmm. Favorite thing to eat? Uh, well, my parents are from Ghana, so I've been eating a lot of uh, cake. It's kind of like a, a cornmeal. Uh, it's fermented, and then you kind of stir it together. It, it, it's kind of like tomatoes without the, without the meat, but then you gotta eat it with like fish or or some type of ground of pepper. So. Oh. All right, except for football, what is your favorite sport? I don't know. Uh, I have to say basketball. Hmm. All right, all right. Now, uh, are you any good at basketball? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I actually played with my cousin yesterday. I mean, we're, we're going to 12 at an open gym. I think I dropped like seven points, so. If you're able yeah. to meet any famous person, who would that be and why? Uh, can you repeat that, please? If you were able to meet any famous person, who would that be and why? Uh, if I could meet any famous, if I had to choose, probably Andre Johnson. Hmm. All right, now, now you're a wide receiver at Adam State. Would you say you would compare your game to uh, Andre Johnson's? If not, who uh, who would that? Who would you compare your games? Uh, who would you compare your game to to a player currently playing in the NFL? I would have to say uh, Larry Fitzgerald. I would say Andre Johnson, but Andre Johnson is pretty fast. He's probably going like a 4-3 or something like that. But uh, I'll probably say like a Larry Fitzgerald. I'm not the fastest guy, but but I know I have to make every catch, mm-hmm. be physical, and, and, and have good route running. It's just a speed difference that I would say. All right, what's something about Harry and Jay that many people do not know? Uh, well, well, a couple. Uh, well, one thing is uh, how long I've been playing football for, organized football, and that I'm actually my parents are actually from uh, Ghana, West Africa. Everybody thinks I'm from Texas or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, growing, or, or I should say, what what is your favorite uh, NFL football team? I say uh, the Bengals. Uh, I like the receiver. When I was a kid, I mean, I didn't really like to watch football or any sports. I was too active. So, um, but when I started watching the game, and I, I like the, the Bengals uh, receiving court with Chad Johnson, TJ Uchenzada, Chris Henry. You know, I, I just like watching those guys play together. And I feel every year that they have a good receiving court. So, like this year, we have A.J. Green, Mom Sanu, Hawkins, a lot of good guys. Yeah, yeah, I think Mohamed Sanu could actually lock up that uh, number two receiving uh, spot. Yes, sir. Now, Henry, uh, now, Harry, let's talk a little bit about your college football career. You currently attend Adams State. You mind telling us how you decided that was a place for you? Pardon? Uh, you, you currently attend Adams State. Do you, can you tell us like how you decided that was the place for you? Um... To be honest, it was only really, really uh, two factors. I mean, I was really getting, uh, I was, I was really getting looks uh, out. I was sending film, but you know, I, I didn't get, uh, I didn't really get any responses. But one of my teammates, uh, Denzel McComb, uh, he actually got a scholarship there, and uh, he sent my film to the coach. So then they actually uh, liked what they saw, and I ended up there. So. 
And so she was already going in, and me not playing for long, you know, he, he, he was basically kind of like my mentor, even though I'm older than him by, by a couple months, uh, a year or so. Uh, it, was, it was as if, like, if he was going, and he told me to get, uh, get somewhere this far, I understand the game is uh, in a better aspect, you know, that, that seemed like the place for me to be, so... What is something about your game that you are really confident about, and what is something about your game that you feel that you could work on? Uh, something that I feel confident uh, in, I feel confidence in towards my game is my physicality, my IQ. Uh, I try to be a, a, a cerebral player because at, at the end of the day, uh, your body, your body's never going to be the same after every workout or after every game, whatever it really you do. So I have to be able to account for how many people are in the box. I have to be able to account for if I'm getting double teamed or, or, or if I see a coverage and things like that to help me, uh, or to make my job easier as well as being physical, uh, going across the middle. It's just, it's as soon as, as soon as I beat the DB, I just, I zone, I zone it on the ball because I know that that somebody possibly can be coming to take my head off. But <laughs> if I make that, if I make that catch and, and I stay strong in there, then I know it's not going to be as bad. Absolutely. I know. I know if you make it, I know if you make a fifteen yard catch and you get your helmet blown off, you're not going to feel that until probably two, two, three days after that because <laughs> that could have been a big play that you made. And um. I, a thing that I would say I have to work on would uh, probably be uh, getting in and out of my breaks. Um, uh, more specifically on, on like a curl and uh, sometimes the comebacks. Um, so far, I mean, uh, I picked up tricks right, so I like on a comeback uh, to be in the blind side of the DB. But the further up you go, the more precise you have to be. So, uh, Actually, in high school, I was probably, I didn't, I had my growth spurt later on, probably like my late junior, early senior year, so I mean, I've been kind of goofy ever since, so it's kind of hard for me, but at the same time, that's not an excuse, that's something that I know I have to work on is getting in and out of my breaks, and, I, and instead of, cause at the end of the day, like I said, the further I go up, the more uh, cerebral the player lining up across from me is, and, and and he's more athletic and more physical, so I also have to polish up on, I have to in increase my strengths, increase all my strengths, and also improve on my weaknesses. Now, Harry, we have a mutual friend with uh, Sean DePasquale from NFLDraftZone.com, and actually, uh, I meant to touch on this earlier, you, you really haven't played, like, football for a long time. You've only been playing for, what, four years, isn't that right? Yes, sir. And do you feel that's a disadvantage at all, or, or do you feel that you could use that as an advantage and, uh, you know, you could always look at the bright side and saying there's always uh, upside to you and uh, you, 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 could, you know what you could work on? Um, I, feel, I feel that at the end of the day, looking at the overall situation, I, I feel like it's a blessing in disguise. Uh, like you said earlier, it's... Um, it, 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 uh, like you said earlier, I have more of a ceiling to grow, but I mean, of course, I have those days where I say, "Man, I wish I was, I wish I would have been playing earlier when I was a little kid." You know, there's always that 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 thought, "What if? What if? What if?" But you know, as an athlete or, or, or as a person that or a person in general that, that has has goals that that he set for himself that most people wouldn't dare to uh, achieve or. The most you wouldn't dare to strive for, I can't look at the, the what is and should could have what is. I gotta take it for what it is and, and roll with it and, and be a uh, head person to the situation and just rely on God and and do my part. And and if it's in it, and when I put the situation in His hands, and you know it's gonna turn out for the best no matter what. You got that right. Now, according to DatabaseFootball.com, the last NFL player to come out of Adams State was Ken Markow in uh, 1987. Can Adams State develop NFL players today? And, Harry, do you feel you could be one of them? Yeah, I will. I will be. I mean, I'm, I'm doing everything that I can. 
Of muscle, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, it just, it just, at the end of the day, I just got to look at, I got to look at the past and just learn from it, you know? These people, uh, the last person that's come out, I got to look at what he did and, and the team between that and team, where they went wrong, but also see where they went right, and, you know? Uh, I, I've been fortunate. To, to be as tall as I am, I mean, sometimes I get confused because my dad is probably six foot, and that may be stretching it, and then my mom's about five one, so, <laughs> so luckily I got uh, my, my grandma's jeans on my dad's side, so my height, and not many, not, not many people are too fortunate to be as tall as I am, or, or be able to be as big as I am in general, so... I have to be able to develop myself into the athlete that, that will get to the next level. And there's no, no excuses can be made. Yeah, you're right on that one. Chris Shanfell here talking with Adams State wide receiver Harry J on Sportsman Radio. Harry, your senior year is coming right around the corner, and uh, I know you have some high expectations for yourself. Can you tell us what those expectations of yours are for this upcoming season? Uh, God one, I'm, I'm planning on going 1,515 touchdowns. Hey man, that that's a lot. That's a lot. You you think you could do it, right? Yes, sir. Well, my parents can can make the trip to come from from Ghana to the United States. Why can't I make? Why can't I achieve the goals that I set out for myself? Hey, I I have a lot of faith in you, man. I, I'm here supporting you. I really appreciate your time. I gotta say, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Uh, once again, I'm wishing you nothing but the best, Harry. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to plug on my, on the air for myself and our listeners? Uh. Just stay blessed and don't let anything stop you. And I appreciate you for having me, sir. Thank you. All right, thanks, Harry. Let's stay in touch and uh, best of luck. Take care. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it.